Okay, this hack is going to start with this remote control light switch from Home Depot. It's fairly cheap, and it comes with a nifty little remote control fob. We're going to open that up and take a look at it. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Take out the battery. Now these switches are what powers the device, but we need to bypass those switches. If we look at the back side, we solder on some leads here. One to the negative ground. We took out the diode that bridges this wire from the IC into the transmitter. So the IC is no longer controlling the transmitter. Instead, on this side, we put a lead that will go to the Arduino. Down here this is a pin that controls the transistor that controls the transmitter. That'll go to one of the GPIO lines on the Arduino. And down here is another pin that'll go to five volts, also coming from the Arduino. So let's write some code. Here are the two pins. One is going to send the actual signal and one is powering the transmitter. Uh, those are the two lead GPIO lines, both outputs. And down at the bottom in the main loop, I'm reading the serial input to get commands from the PC. So when I get a line of text, if it's an on command, I parse out the address of the lights that we're gonna turn on and I call my turn on function. Otherwise, I'm gonna turn off the lights. The turn on function then simply powers on the transmitter and then sends the signal and then powers off the transmitter. Sending the signal is a matter of writing bits on the signal line and those bits are computed by this function here. The bits are actually written out by just setting high and low values on the signal line in the right timing and this timing was figured out manually to match the original remote control so that this actually works. Let's see. This serial PuTTY program is connected to my Arduino and I can send commands. I have a video camera connected to watch what the Christmas lights are going to do. When I turn on address number four, it sends out a signal and on they come. I can also turn on my other lights just by passing a different address. Turn them off again. Number four. Turn them on again. And my neighbors now think I'm crazy. All right, so that seems to be working. The next step then is to write a little Python script that uses this Astral Python module that will give you the time of sunrise and sunset. And at sunrise, it'll turn off the lights. And at sunset, it'll turn on the light using that same serial connection, writing on commands and off commands as needed. And you just run this in the background as a service. And now the lights are automated and controlled correctly. So that's a pretty cheap uh, solution to fully computer control Christmas lights.